Hi, I'm Noor. I'm Alex, and we're electronics engineers here at Dyson. We're going to talk you through how to prepare for the air quality monitoring device build activity in Lesson 2B of Engineering Solutions Air Pollution. This video can be used alongside the support sheets found in the teacher's pack. You will need to prepare the build activity at least two days in advance. This gives you time to charge your batteries and prepare the gas sensor. The preparation process will also include programming the Arduinos and understanding how to build the device. This is the completed device. It has a particulate sensor and a gas sensor to measure the concentrations of gas and particulate pollutants in the surrounding air. It has two LED strips that light up with different numbers of LEDs to indicate the amount of pollutants present in the environment. I'm now going to talk you through how to program the Arduino so the sensors can communicate with the LED strips. This will enable your students to monitor air quality around the school. To program the Arduino, you'll need the equipment listed on the support sheet. To start, install the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, IDE, software from the Arduino website. On your desktop, create a new folder called JDF underscore AQI. Go to the James Dyson Foundation website. Under Resources, you will find Engineering Solutions Air Pollution. On this webpage, click Download Arduino Code. A code file called JDF underscore AQI dot INO will download. Once downloaded, save this code file to the folder you created on your desktop, then double click to open it. It will open in the Arduino IDE. In the Arduino environment, click Tools, then Manage Libraries. This is to make sure that the sensors in the Arduino are able to communicate properly. In the search bar, type in HM3301 and find Grove Laser 2.5 Sensor HM3301 by Seed with three E's Studio, so Seed Studio. Make sure to select version 1.0.0 from the drop down bar, then click Install. Once installed, search SGP30 and find Adafruit SGP30 Sensor by Adafruit. Select version 1.0.5, then click Install. Lastly, search for NeoPixel and find Adafruit NeoPixel by Adafruit. Select version 1.3.2 and then click Install. Once these three things are installed, connect an Arduino to the computer using the USB cable. Click Tools, Board, then Arduino, Genuino Uno. Then click Tools, Port, COM, or COM, Arduino, Genuino Uno. This is the Arduino that is connected and should appear automatically. Finally, click Sketch, then Upload. Wait until Done Uploading appears in the status bar at the bottom of the window. Unplug the USB cable from the Arduino. If you have multiple Arduinos to program, repeat steps 7 to 12 for all Arduinos. You have now programmed the Arduino to be an air quality monitoring device. So firstly, I'm going to take the Grove Shield and plug it into the Arduino, making sure that the pins align. Once you've connected your growth shield to your Arduino, take your gas sensor and using a connecting cable, plug your gas sensor into a free I2C slot. Next, you want to take your booster and a USB type A to B cable to plug your booster into your Arduino. Then plug the battery into the booster. Next, you want to take your USB hub and plug it into your computer. You can then use a type A to C cable to plug your booster into the USB hub. Set the switch on the booster to on, and then repeat this setup for all Arduinos and plug them all into your USB hub. Once this is complete, set the switch on your boosters to off, unplug the USB hub from the computer and disassemble all kits. The gas sensors and batteries are now ready to use. You are now ready to teach the air quality monitoring device build activity. We're going to talk you through how the students will set up the device and monitor air quality. Each group will need equipment for one device, listed in Worksheet 3 and also in Lesson Plan for Lesson 2B. This includes the programmed Arduino, the prepared gas sensor, and the battery, and this worksheet will talk the students through the following build process. Firstly, slot the base shield into the Arduino. 
Then you can take your particulate matter sensor and using a connecting cable, connect it to a free I square C slot. Next, take another connecting cable and connect it to your gas sensor. Find another free I square C slot and connect it into your growth shield. Plug one end of a connecting cable into an LED stick and connect the other end into D2 on your growth shield. This LED stick will indicate the concentration of particulate pollution. Next, take another LED stick and your last connecting cable, slot it into D3 on the growth shield. And this LED stick will indicate the concentration of gases in the air. Plug the battery into the booster. Connect the booster to the Arduino. Set the switch on the booster to on. Your device is ready once the blue loading bars disappear. The device will be able to detect gas and particulate pollution. When I use a gas pollutant, such as a permanent marker, and place it near the gas sensor, more LED lights light up. Similarly, when shaking a particulate pollutant, here we'll use a tea bag, and place it near the particulate sensor, more LEDs will be illuminated. Students can use this device to measure the air quality around school. To turn this device off, just set this button on the booster to off. So now you should be ready to teach the activity. We hope you and your students enjoy the lesson.